Hello, welcome to Total Fight Time. I'm your host, Major League of Gaming Trap. This is the series where I choose a bunch of random characters to fight each other. We will learn about their power, strength, weaknesses to see who would win a fight or not. Alright, let us see the fighter for tonight. Born and first and raised in Boston, Massachusetts, the youngest of eight boys from the south side of Boston, the Scout is a fast-running scrapper with a baseball bat a snarky in your face, attitude who learned how to solve problems with his fists. With seven older brothers on his side, fights tended to end before the run humble litter could maneuver into punching distance. So the Scout trained himself to run. He ran everywhere, all the time, until he could eat his pack of mad dog siblings to the fridge. He can fight people capable of hurting him, such as a soldier. He can even kill a soldier in one hit. He is capable of defeating Erasmus, who stated that in the witching hour, the world wall would be weakened. In flying, he's stronger than werewolf. He can also somewhat survive a fight with the Yeti, which was stated to be so durable that it was said nothing on Earth could kill it, which implies that it would be able to tank the same explosion that Apple casually built, which was widespread news at the time when the moon was destroyed making him planet level. He regularly fights with Ampersand against his fellow mercenaries, a lot which can react to the projectiles from the righteous bison, which is referred to as an indivisible particle smasher. One of his cosmetics, the Frosted Express, is said to be able to receive signals from a satellite at light speed. Its description then implies that it is unable to do this because Scott is moving too fast, making him faster than light. With Bond, he is capable of dodging shots from the pumps in 6000 so casually that it's like they don't even exist, making him massively faster than light plus. He can temporarily survive meteor showers tell a beating from the Yeti. Growing up in the rough streets of Boston, Scott was getting into street fights at an early age, having earned his running ability through his efforts to get there first. Now he is considered one of the nine most dangerous mercenaries in the world, being an expert at flanking, evasion, and percent being incredibly annoying to friend and percent foe alike. Nevertheless, he is indeed a force of nature on the battlefield, and percent is able to keep up with all of the most deadly of combatants in sustained firefights. He was also clever enough once to trip this fight by taking advantage of his sentiments for his mother. Scout is academically inept and incredibly impulsive, which is exacerbated by his hot hot self it seems. A lot of these things have gotten him into trouble on numerous occasions. He is also insecure about his feelings for MS, following his attempt to impress her can distract him from time to time. Overall, even with those flaws, Scout still proves why he is the fastest member of the Team Fortress 2 marks. Lee Noxton was the youngest person ever inducted into Overwatch's experimental flight program. Known for her fearless piloting skills, she was handpicked to test the prototype of a teleporting fighter, the Slipstream. But during its first flight, the aircraft teleportation matrix malfunctioned, it disappeared. Lee was presumed dead. She reappeared months later, but her ordeal had greatly changed her. Her molecules had been desynchronized from the flow of time. Suffering from kernel disassociation, she was the living ghost, disappearing for hours and percent days at a time. Even for the brief moments she was present, she was unable to maintain physical form. Overwatch's doctors and percent scientists first palm. Tracer's case seemed hopeless until Winston designed the kernel accelerator, a device capable of keeping Tracer anchored in the present. In addition, it gave Tracer the ability to control her own time, allowing her to speed it up and slow it down at will. She regularly sparred with Genji, who was able to deflect attacks from Ampersand flight through the hand of an Omni Titan. They are able to briefly survive a hit from TORBJRN Victor, which is stated to be powered by the energy of the volcanic eruption, making her city level. 
Operator is able to move fast enough to blitz the reactions of multiple omnics, which are able to casually proceed out a micro fraction of microseconds, making her massively faster than light plus. She's able to take hits from Widowmaker and first and withstand the blast of her own pulse bomb. As one of Overwatch's most famous and first and proactive agents, Tracer is a fearless combatant to skill combatant. In combat, Tracer combines her marksmanship skill, acrobatic prowess, and her stand time and hand speed act as a highly unpredictable fighter, repeatedly teleporting Amphers and amplifying her speed in order to constantly stay in her opponent's blind spot Amphers and avoid attack while peppering them with non-stop hails of focus gunfire. So her guns are primarily close range weapons, she has a high degree of accuracy with them, being able to accurately hit targets with them to our bullets such as shooting a pipe while it clips a creator smoke screen, and even when leaving normal publish and goon she has shown the ability to disarm an entire mob by shooting the guns out of their hands. Her skill has even been commended by Martin as good as Diva, and for some she has also shown evil marksmanship skill with other weapons, such as Widowmaker's rifle. Due to being trained in field combat by Overwatch, Tracer is also skilled in close quarters combat, having shown the ability to incapacitate talent troops with her bare hands and first and even match Widowmaker in hand-to-hand -hand combat. If Tracer's Primal Accelerator is damaged it will cause her abilities to malfunction, potentially to lethal degree if she is injured during a malfunction as it will repeatedly inflict the same injury on her until the device is stabilized. And for sand if the Primal Accelerator is destroyed completely Tracer's molecule will return to being desynchronized from the flow of time, causing her to phase out of corporeal existence. Overall, even with those flaws, Tracer is still a brave fighter and first and wherever there's danger, she will be there in the blink of an eye. Alright viewers, now that the prey analysis is done, let us get into who wins this fight and why. So looking at the stats, the winner is that player as night and first and day. Interestingly, in a base-to-base -base form fight, this outcome could go either way, with Tracer being thousands of times faster than base scout Ampers and she's already far smarter, but scout is still far too strong Ampers and far too durable. However, since scout has the bunk, he can close the speed gap easily, while Tracer can rewind time for herself to heal up, that is not going to be enough to secure a win. So overall, scout was just far stronger, faster, Ampers and more durable. Total fight time.